Hey, what's up guys? My name is Asani Fisher. I'm a professional gambler and this is going to be a video series on how I've learned to analyze sports. Um, I'm highly skeptical that what I'm going to say is going to add up to anything coherent whatsoever. So I make no promises. Um, this will basically be a journey through my thoughts and if you want to join me, then you're welcome. <laughs> Um, I use the word learned to analyze sports and I do it intentionally because I really want to drive home the point that I was not very good at this naturally. Um, I had some natural talent at Logic and that helped me get started in poker, but when I tried to transition into sports betting, I was unbelievably terrible. Um, all the cognitive biases you can imagine grouped together in one potpourri of ineptitude, that was me. Um, I thought I was good. <laughs> uh, or at least I, I thought I had the potential to quickly get good with fairly minimal effort. But no, 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 no. I was really, really bad. And I know this to be true because the internet is a thing and it tells me so. Um, back when I started trying to sports bet, it was 2007, and I went and posted on the 2 plus 2 sports betting message boards. And I can go back and look at my posts and man, they are, uh, they're something. Um, aggressively wrong, condescending, uh, constantly speaking from a position of assumed authority, um, not very good at all. I, I, I was, I had a friendly and welcoming demeanor. I wasn't rude to people, uh, but my underlying ego and self-awareness issues really stymied any discussion I attempted to have. Um, I'll read you an excerpt from, this is this is basically how I introduced myself to the NBA betting community at 2 plus 2. I, I started a thread, I think called like Asani's NBA Picks or whatever, and here's what I wrote. Unlike football, I'm no expert on betting basketball. That's ironic because I probably know basketball as a sport better than anything else. But I still have a lot to learn in regard to betting. My first thought is that, and I go on and my thoughts aren't really interesting enough to, uh, to, to fully uh, read the post here, but I would like to highlight the fact that I went into a sports betting forum, started a thread on betting basketball, and the first thing I felt necessary to do was to throw out a non sequitur about how I'm an expert at football betting. Um, this would be one thing if I was actually an expert at football betting, but secret between you and me, I was not an expert at football betting at this time. Um, I went back and double checked. I looked at some other threads in the sports betting forum, these ones to do with football, and I looked at some of the posts I was making. Um, here's one for example. This isn't particularly noteworthy in any way. Uh, but it kind of gives you an idea of the level I was on in regards to sports analysis at that time. I like Houston plus five. Houston looks good, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> really good. It's not just that they've won two games, but it's how they've won them. Falling down two touchdowns on the road against Carolina and then coming back, that impressed me a lot. I really like what they've got going on in Houston on both sides of the football. I'm going to have to monitor Andre Johnson's injury for sure, though. Also, that stat about the Colts and games decided by seven points or less is really sticking out to me. I'm not sure what I was referencing there. If Andre Johnson is healthy, I think Houston takes this game straight up and makes a statement to the league. Um, that's a lot of words that doesn't really say anything at all, and the... The underlying assumption in all of that seems to be that I can just kind of haphazardly talk about the way I feel about these certain variables in the game, and somehow that will produce an output that allows me to 
beat the betting market um, with no line shopping whatsoever of any kind. Um, and, you know, I ultimately lost at sports betting. <laughs> uh, surprise, surprise. Um, I had a lot of misconceptions about the skill sets that were required to be good at sports betting. I think I had the logical intelligence to succeed. I had the desire to succeed. I did not have the emotional intelligence. And I think that's something a lot of people might relate to as they hear my story. Um, and that's essentially what this video series is going to be about. The idea being that in today's internet age, uh, the information you need in order to be great at sports analysis is widely available. It's not a lack of information, but rather it is the cognitive biases that each of us has which prevent us from correctly interpreting that information. Um, And it's, it's specifically because I've had to deal with so many cognitive biases of my own that I think I'm somewhat qualified to lead this series. Um, and so over the course of this, I'll go into detail about my journey from sports betting to NBA analytics to daily fantasy sports with a focus on the mental side of things. Um, I'll highlight the misconceptions I had going in, the emotional aha moments I had, the ways I discovered my biases and attempted to remove them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, hopefully people find that interesting. Uh, anyway, to bring this opening video to a close, in honor of all the great minds on the 2 plus 2 sports betting forum, who were kind enough to put up with my trollish ways and offer me legitimately great advice that unfortunately went right over my head at the time. Um, I've gone back and looked at some of that great advice and put together a collection of some of the better posts, slightly edited um, in order to make it flow better. But uh, this is essentially the blueprint of what I actually needed to hear at the time. <clears throat> Asani, I think it's great that you post your analysis and plays and wish you the best of luck, but you do not do yourself any favors by referring your, to yourself as an expert. Making money in sports is easy though, it is easy, though I doubt you'll ever have success purely out of not understanding what's important to learn. If you could get over yourself and the sarcastic replies that you get, the information has already been provided. Can you imagine putting up big money on a team where you can't name one player on it? You should. Your biggest problem going forwards probably will be that you actually like sports and you try to analyze them from a handicapping point of view. You aren't good enough to do that. My advice to you would be to sack up and admit you know nothing. A ton of conventional knowledge out there is wrong. Reversing the brainwashing and thinking the correct way is a big step. Well said. <laughs>